Hey Tiva, it's Rachel. I'm back with a new kind of Bath and Body Works Use It Up Challenge. So if you have followed my channel at least since February, this site should look pretty familiar to you. Every six months I do collection update videos and since it has only been about six weeks since my last collection, this should look mostly the same to you guys. So definitely a familiar site here. So at the time that I'm filming it, it's actually Easter Sunday right now in Australia. I know it's Saturday night in the US, but here it is April 1st. And I have a new Bath & Body Works challenge that I'm going to do. So my challenge is to have only 20 items in my Bath & Body Works collection by June 1st. So I will do my intro today on the 1st. I will do a kind of checkup or update on May 1st, and then I will do a finale on June 1st. So it in itself, it won't be a very long challenge, but it's just kind of the dates that I'm working with right now. Now, the reason why I'm doing this kind of has some backstory to it. Um, so as you guys know, I moved from Kansas to Australia um, almost a year ago, kind of. So I arrived in the country on the 6th of June, 2017, and my visa that I'm on right now is good for a year. So it expires the 6th of June, 2018. Now, um, the reason why I'm doing this challenge is because you also may know that I'm applying for permanent residence in Australia, which will be a permanent visa. So in theory, it's the last one I'll ever need. And by the way, sorry, that is shaky. I'm using my hands with this. Um, so, I've been working since October to apply for permanent residence. However, um, if you are familiar with immigration, whether that is legal or not, um, you would know that, and I don't mean to get all political here, but legal immigration is expensive and time consuming and uh, complex. So even though I've been working on my application since October with my attorney, there might be a kind of weird lapse in time of a couple weeks between my visas when I'll need to go home. So I don't know for a fact that's going to happen, but I'm basically at a point where I'm preparing for it happening. So um, I will very conveniently be in Kansas when Bath & Body Works is doing their semi-annual sale. And for that reason, I'd like to make a challenge where I can use up some product so that I could go home if I wind up going home and indulge in some good old semi-annual sales. So when I shop at semi-annual sales, my goal is not necessarily to spend only X number of dollars. Rather, I'm more so focused on how many items I'm adding to my collection. So um, I've mentioned before in collection videos that the way I tend to play semi-annual sales is I will go through and look at how many items I had in my last collection video. So my last one, about six weeks ago, I had 35 items. And at the next semi-annual sale, I make it my budget, if you will, to not purchase more items than what I already had, if that makes sense. I guess I didn't say that too well. But what I mean is, since I had 35 items in February, after my semi-annual sale purchase, and once I put those new items into my collection, I don't want to have more than 35 items. So really, that's one way that I keep my stash shrinking. So I didn't want to limit myself to exactly which items to use up, and that's why I'm sharing my entire collection with you, because I don't want this to feel like a diet. I still want the freedom and flexibility to use what I want to use, but in the end, no matter what I use, <clears throat> excuse me, I just want to have 20 items or fewer. That way I can have some fun at this in my annual sale and purchase up to 15 things. So I just want to share my collection with you. Again, I did this six weeks, but there is a little bit less than there used to be. And I'll just show you what I'm working with in terms of using things up on April 1st. And then, like I said, I'll check in May 1st and then do my finale on June 1st, right before I potentially go home. So I'll just share with you what I've got now, and that will introduce you to my challenge. So as you guys saw in February, I have, I believe, eight uh, lotions. So I have two Midnight Pomegranates, 
a bourbon, strawberry, vanilla, sweet cranberry, rose, peony, two wild honeysuckle, and a beach night summer marshmallow. Up here to my ultra shade creams, I have a rose champagne, Georgia peach and sweet tea, apple of my eye, champagne, apple and honey, two black raspberry vanillas, and then in the mini um, ultra shade creams, I have a bright autumn blooms at the beach and another champagne, apple and honey. Except for the 10 pocket bags I purchased recently, I decided not to include those just because I'm not stressed about using up those 10. However, this is the only pocket back left that I purchased last time that I went to Wichita in October. So I'm working on my Black Cherry Merlot. I also have just one soap left from my SAS purchase in December. I love it. It's Frosty Sips Limerita. And then finally, in terms of the fine fragrance mists I want to go through, I have a mini and warm vanilla sugar. Sorry that the lighting's not fantastic right here. A rose champagne, uh, magic in the air, two wild honeysuckle, a love and sunshine, warm vanilla sugar, peony, and then I have a bourbon, strawberry vanilla, sweet cranberry rose, and two midnight pomegranates. So again, this should be kind of a familiar sight to you, but I just want to share my collection again for the challenge itself. So on May 1st and June 1st, you'll again see my collection and you'll see where I'm at in terms of my total numbers. So like I said, I didn't mean to get all preachy and political, but no matter what side of immigration you're on, I just hope that you like, you know, understand that it's not a matter of just going to the courthouse one day, paying 20 bucks and you're legal. Like it's a way more work than that. And on a level, I'm excited to be going back to Wichita potentially for a few weeks. I just kind of wish it weren't really under these circumstances. Um, but, you know, it's important to me to play by the rules, especially because I want to be here. So it just is the way it is. So um, with that, that is my challenge. Again, my goal is to only have 20 items in my collection by June 1st. And right here, I have 30 in front of you. So again, it should seem very easy, but because I don't have a whole lot of variety in what I have, it's actually a bit of a tall order. So I really just wanted to see how I go. So with that, if you're interested, definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like and comment, follow me on my journey, perhaps do a journey of your own, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.